हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट काय स्क्वेर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन और समटाइम्स इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज काय स्क्वेड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नाउ वॉट इज काय स्क्वेर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन और वेन डू वी से रैंडम वेरिएबल फॉलोज काय स्क्वेर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो सपोज इफ यू हैव अ रैंडम वेरिएबल विच इज अ विच फॉलोज नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विच सपोज मीन इज म्यू एंड द वेरियंस इज सिग्मा स्क्वेर नाउ वेन एवर वी हैव अ नॉर्मल रैंडम वेरिएबल we can always convert this into a standard normal random variable and how can we convert that by using a transformation x minus mu upon sigma now we know that this z is a normal random variable with mean 0 and the variance 1 now the question is if i square this then what is the distribution okay well z square is said to follow chi square this is the notation chi chi square distribution so z square is a random variable okay because our z is a random variable so z square is a random variable question is what distribution it will follow well we say that z square follows chi square distribution with one degree of freedom now what do you mean by degree of freedom degree of freedom is nothing but you can say a uh, number of independent variables like in this we know what is our z z is x minus mu upon sigma right now mu and sigma are constant but my x is varying so my z is dependent only on one variable x which is independent right so there is only one independent variable therefore your z square also has only one independent variable so therefore since one independent variable therefore one degrees of freedom now suppose if you have two standard normal random variables suppose if you have z1 and z2 both are standard normal random variables with mean 0 and variance 1 now if i square and add then this is also a random variable and we say that z1 square plus z2 square has a chi square distribution with how many degrees of freedom with two degrees of freedom because this will have one independent random variable x1 this will have one independent random variable x2 so both are having one and one therefore one plus one is two and in general if you have z1 z2 up to zn so if you square and add them z i square i from 1 to n then this is said to follow chi square distribution with n degrees of freedom okay so chi square distribution is nothing but it is a distribution of a random variable and what is that random variable that random variable is nothing but this summation of z i square okay so if i call this thing as x summation of z i square then we say that your x follows chi square distribution with n degrees of freedom okay so this is one thing which one should note the take away the what is the definition this is you can say definition but then again once you have a distribution the distribution is incomplete if you don't know what is the probability density function because whenever you want to find the probability you integrate the probability density function so question is what is the probability density function for this distribution or for this random variable well for that one has to revisit gamma distribution so random variable x is said to follow gamma distribution if its probability density function is given by this for x greater equal 0 and 0 for x negative okay now here if you replace your alpha by mu by 2 and your beta by 2 okay then what do you get then this is what the density function you get and we say that a random variable follows chi square distribution if it has this as a probability density function where this new is called as a degree of freedom so earlier i used n as a notation but uh, since uh, i'm referring walpole book therefore i'm writing new you can also write n doesn't matter at the end you should mention that this whatever the notation you are using that represents the degree of freedom okay so that's what the definition is we say a random variable x follows chi square distribution if its density function is given by this function now this is not that much intuitive that's why i didn't start with this as a definition of chi square distribution and i started with summation of zi square because that is very obvious right because once we have some random variables we always do some operations on it and one of the very standard operation is you square and add so that's what when people play with the random variable this random variable was coming lot of times and when people studied summation of zi square it follows that it came to conclusion that this is a random variable with this as a probability density function 
Now to prove the connection between this and summation zi square, there are some concepts of moments mu r prime and the concepts of moment generating functions. But anyways, we are not going to go into that detail. But using these concepts, one can prove these connections that if this is a PDF, then summation zi square follows chi square distribution. That means summation of zi square will have this as a probability density function. Okay, so yeah, what is the upshot? Summation of zi square follows chi square distribution. And what is the PDF? This is a probability density function for x greater or equal 0. We are not worried about x less than 0 because chi square is always a non negative random variable, non negative continuous random variable. Now, if you try to see the graph for this, the probability density function for this, when the degree of freedom is 1, the graph will be something like this. When the degree of freedom is 2, the graph will be something like this. It's not exactly what something. But as soon as it is 3, it will start near to origin and it will be something like this. It will be positively skewed. Okay, if you don't know the concept, it's okay, you can Google. If you know it's good, it's positively skewed. For again, when you take k equal to 5, it will be again something like this. Again, suppose k equal to 10, something like this. Okay, so as the degree of freedom increases, the graph will be more and more symmetrical okay so that's why larger the degree of freedom the more symmetricity you will observe in the pdf for a chi square distribution okay and everyone who's symmetric graphs are always good to play with okay so that's one thing another thing one should know about this is the expectation and the variance the expectation for the chi square distribution is nothing but new or you can say n that is the number of de uh, degrees of freedom and the variance of x is nothing but 2 times the degree of freedom okay so i'm not going to do the proof but these are some standard facts that one should know okay now that was one thing second thing is one of the uh, one very standard notation that people use is that is nothing but chi square of alpha okay chi square alpha what does this notation represent so this is a chi square value okay so suppose if this is some pdf now this is a chi square value some chi square value and what does this alpha represent alpha repre represents means what it is nothing but the area towards the left so this area is nothing but the area alpha sorry area towards the right okay so chi square alpha is what it is a chi square value such that area towards the right is alpha so therefore i write alpha over here okay so suppose if i say uh, chi square of whatever say 0 0.05 is how much 13.71 it's not correct just for example so if i'm writing this way means what if if on this x axis which is nothing but all the chi square values if i look for 13.71 then the area towards its right will be how much it will be 0 0.05 okay so that's what the notation represent and when you see a table for chi square distribution it will be something like this the left side column is new that is the number of that is the nothing but the degree of freedom and this is alpha that means area towards the right how much area is left okay so suppose if you have say four degrees of freedom so you want to find the chi square value so that area towards the right will be this much so if you take this as your chi square value then area towards the left area towards the right will be 0 0.995 if you have degrees of freedom for you and if you want to see what is the chi square value such that area towards the right is 0 0.99 then this is the chi square value such that area towards the right is 0 0.99 again for 3 something like this so this is how the table is the left side is nothing but the degrees of freedom top represents the values of alpha that means the area towards the right and all these are your chi square values okay now this is used very widely in statistical inference so in the next set of lectures we will come across the concept of sampling distributions especially the distribution for a sample variance s square and again we are going to see uh, estimation theory and the test of hypothesis there the chi square distribution is used a lot so all this table you will be needing in future so when we will see those concepts that time we are going to take some examples and along with that we will also see how to use the tables so I hope conceptually the lecture is clear. If you have any doubt in this, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.